Right after her assumption to office, Vice President Sara Duterte initiated the establishment of satellite offices in strategic areas around the country. The decision was guided by the vision of the office of the Vice President to reach, serve, and create a lasting impact on the lives of Filipinos. The satellite offices were established for OVP services to become accessible to Filipinos outside the National Capital Region. Starting July 2022, the OVP satellite offices in Bacolod, Cebu, Dagupan, Davao, Surigao, Tacloban, and Zamboanga opened their doors to the public. This year, the satellite offices in Isabela, Bangsamoro Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao, and Region 5 were also opened. Two extension offices of the Public Assistance Division of OVP were also opened in Lipa, Batangas, and Tondo, Manila. The 10 satellite offices and two extension offices complement the functions of the central office in Robinson Cybergate Plaza in Mandaluyong. Two of the services mainly accessed by the public are the Medical Assistance Program and Burial Assistance Program. Funds used to implement these programs were covered by the total allotment released in 2022 for the OVP, amounting to 973.21 million pesos, of which 898.47 million pesos had been obligated with a registered 97% disbursement rate. It also covered the establishment and operations of the satellite offices and extension offices. For fiscal year 2023, the OVP has a 2.36 billion peso available budget under the General Appropriations Act. As of June 30, 2023, the OVP has already obligated 44% of the allotment received, or equivalent to 1.06 billion pesos, and with a disbursement rate of 81%, or 864.98 million pesos. For the medical assistance program alone, from January 2023 to July 2023, the OVP has assisted 52,472 beneficiaries, spending 550,781,339.98 pesos. The burial assistance program also assisted 11,606 beneficiaries, spending 56,955,000 pesos. The other OVP initiatives are the following. The Mag Negosyo Taday hopes to help grassroots level groups shore up their livelihood projects. A fund amounting to 150,000 pesos will each be given to qualified organizations. They will also undergo technical and financial management training to ensure the success of their projects. Three organizations with over 100 members have so far qualified to become recipients of the Magnegosha Taday funds. The OVP is evaluating more than 200 Magnegosha Taday applicants. In May this year, OVP launched the Pagbabago, a million learners and trees campaign. It is a three-pronged initiative that underscores the value of education, oral health, and the protection of the environment. From May to July, the OVP distributed 11,108 bags. But even before the campaign was officially launched, Vice President Sara Duterte had already given away 8,640 Pagbabago bags to young learners during her provincial visits. In total, 19,212 bags were distributed to learners as of July 31, 2023. By the end of 2023, the OVP will be able to distribute 180,788 bags to learners nationwide. Meanwhile, through the satellite offices and partners from the government, communities, and private sector, the OVP has so far planted 34,137 trees in various parts of the country since January 2023. The You Can Be VP program offers a unique experience to the selected participants. An opportunity to join the VP on her official foreign trips as part of the delegation 
and observe the VP's engagements and activities. Here are the other programs and projects of the OVP. The Libreng Sakai program initially started with one bus, each deployed in the cities of Bacolod, Cebu, Davao, and two buses in Metro Manila. With increasing public demand for additional free transport services in Metro Manila, the OVP deployed two more buses for the new Commonwealth Quiapa route in March. This year, with seven buses, the OVP Libreng Sakai program has served more than 353,700 Filipinos. The Disaster Operations Center complements the emergency response of LGUs and government agencies expert in disasters. It has so far conducted a total of 78 relief operations all over the country and served 62,308 beneficiary families with 103,857 relief goods distributed. The OVP's Relief for Individuals in Crisis and Emergency Bags complement the assistance being given by the Disaster Operations Center. These are given to people in crises. The Kalasugan food trucks are equipped with kitchens designed to prepare hot meals for responders and volunteers during disasters and calamities. These trucks are also used to distribute the bonds to the beneficiaries of the Pansarap project. The Pansarap project is a food supplementation project that addresses malnutrition in school children nationwide. It was first implemented in Tamugan Elementary School in Davao City and Nuro Central Elementary School in the town of Upi in Maguindanao. For 120 days, undernourished learners were given Pansarap buns packed with vitamins and other minerals essential to the growth and development of children. 69,635 Pansarap buns were given to 733 malnourished children in Davos Tumugan Elementary School for 95 days. In Maguindanao's Nuro Central Elementary School, 47,880 Pansarap buns were given to 1,064 malnourished learners for 45 days. Early assessment of the impact of this intervention showed remarkable improvements in the weight of the beneficiaries even before the completion of the 120-day implementation period. Pansarap will also be implemented in 20 other schools nationwide with the highest incidence of malnutrition. Inextricably ingrained in the OVP initiatives are the aspirations for the empowerment of communities, the promotion of education and patriotism, and the advancement of a peaceful, secure, and stable life for Filipinos. Vice President Sara Duterte's provincial consultations with various sectors fundamentally bring to light problems such as insurgency, terrorism, illegal drugs, and other factors that invariably contribute to the worsening condition of poverty, injustice, and security. These local engagements open doors for security assessment, confidence building, and active community participation, eventually setting the ground for strategic formulation of programs and their successful implementation down to the grassroots level. Since January this year, the Vice President has had 245 events and meetings. 40 of these were diplomatic engagements with foreign envoys and dignitaries, where the Vice President promoted goodwill, explored more opportunities for cooperation, and strengthened existing bilateral relations. It also covered her official trips to the Kingdom of Brunei Darussalam and Singapore in June, as the new President of the Southeast Asian Ministers of Education Organization Council. The rest of the engagements were undertaken with various community groups, local government officials, security sector, and school personnel. Meanwhile, the OVP envisions having a permanent office to memorialize the legacy of the OVP and the past vice presidents of the Philippines. Groundworks have started to make this happen. For 2024, the recommended budget for OVP is 2.385 billion pesos a 1.22% increase compared to the current year appropriation, amounting to 2.356 billion pesos. This proposal, once approved, will enable the OVP to continue the operations 